What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Uncharted and the Uncharted film. I'm one of the guys out here who does not want to see an Uncharted movie. I know that there are some huge fans. I'm a fan myself who want to see the movie, who think that, you know, a game like this would translate well to film. And it could. It's possible that it could. But my mind goes like this. If history is any indication, more than likely it won't. Look what just happened with Assassin's Creed. It was very poorly received. It was a bad film. And it's going to leave a stain on the Assassin's Creed series. The franchise now has another blemish on it because they put a subpar film out that didn't translate well from a game to the big screen. That's my issue with video game to movie conversions. I think that games like Uncharted and The Last of Us are better suited for long 14 to 16 hour stories that really flesh out the characters and flesh out the world. And it's really hard to convey all that meaningfully in a two, two and a half hour film. That's the problem for me. And not only that, usually there's someone in the director's chair who thinks that they can create a product based on someone else's genius and outdo the genius who made the product. And that's the problem. There are people out there who want to change parts of the canon. They want to change characters. They want to do what they want to do. And it doesn't translate well. And it really disrespects the person who created that franchise or that game or whatever they might be taking the film from. And that's my problem with video games to movies. Now, we all know that the Uncharted film has been in kind of development chaos for a long time, just like the Last of Us movie. The Uncharted film has actually been in development hell for longer than the Last of Us film. But to the dismay of me and many other gamers who don't want to see these games turn into films, the Uncharted movie now has a script. That's right, guys. This could actually happen, and I suggest you brace for impact. I'll drop a link in the description. The Uncharted movie that was supposed to come out this year now has a script. Joe Carnahan, the writer currently attached to a film adaptation of Uncharted, just finished the most current draft of its screenplay according to a recent post he made on Instagram. Carnahan, best known for directing The Grey, a movie in which Liam Neeson punches wolves, was relieved to be penning words for Sony's blockbuster third-person shooter's Hollywood debut last year. Previously, Seth Gordon, the man behind Horrible Bosses and The King of Kong, had been set to direct the project, but was replaced a few years ago by Sean Levy of Real Steel fame. While Carnahan had expressed interest late last year in simultaneously directing the Uncharted movie, it conflicted with his intent on being a part of Bad Boys for Life. Carnahan is calling the newly completed draft of the script a beast that's probably more monstrously cool than any other action movie script currently floating around Hollywood. Plans for an Uncharted movie have circulated for several years now. Sony's action video game franchise has sold tens of millions and always focused on cinematic set pieces and human drama, making it appear like a natural fit for the big screen. Unfortunately, getting movies off the ground, let alone making them good, is extremely difficult. And the Uncharted movie's legacy of not ever actually getting made is no different. You might remember that the movie was originally supposed to come out last year. It's still unclear who will play the protagonist Nathan Drake. Mark Wahlberg had been named in the past, but that also fell through, thank God. But just because a project struggles to get off the ground doesn't mean it won't ultimately still be good. Boyhood, the family drama from director Richard Linkletter that earned several Oscar nominations in 2015, took over 12 years to make. Good things are said to come to those who wait, after all. Tell that to Duke Nukem. Perhaps more foreboding, however, is a simple trend of video game movies being garbage. For all its beautiful visuals and star-studded cast, the Assassin's Creed movie couldn't escape becoming another casualty of that theme. Perhaps the Uncharted movie will be different. Carnahan providing a tangible script is certainly a necessary first step. Look, I'm not going to wish ill will on this guy or anybody working on an Uncharted film. God, I really want it to be great. I mean, and it's a, it's a possibility that it will be great, but I think that if you're going to take someone's original idea and turn it into a film, you need to work closely with the originators and the people who crafted the story originally. I know it's probably hard to get Amy Hennig and Neil Druckmann and these people to actually come and help you with the script or help you with the actual film, but to take someone else's idea and kind of make it your own, it takes a combination of great writing, good imagination, and a little bit of luck. Kind of like Nathan Drake. We haven't had that video game to film adaptation yet that's really, you know, an amazing experience, one that everybody needs to see. We've kind of, you know, gotten lucky with films like the original Mortal Kombat, but everything else has been, for the most part, crap. I'd hate for a flawless series like the Uncharted games to have a blemish on them because someone who didn't write the games and really didn't flesh out these characters put together a two-hour action extravaganza centered around the characters that might fail.
You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. The Uncharted film now has a script. It looks like this thing is moving forward. Are you excited about seeing Nathan Drake on the big screen? Who do you think will be the best Nathan Drake on the big screen? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up. Show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group. Follow me on Twitter. And you can support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time.